Welcome to this video presentation here at Wimbledon Carriage Company and here we have the Mini Cooper S Automatic hatchback as you can see on a 17 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside you can see those black alloy wheels to match the black roof and mirror caps. It's a three door car as you can see. Uh, this vehicle has got £7,600 worth of extras on it, uh, which you'll see when we run through some of the interior controls. But from the exterior, you can see the John Cooper Works body kit. We're going to start off inside the boot area, first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. You can increase this boot space even further by lifting this tray section which then stores behind those seats and, as you can see, gives you that additional space should you need it. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through those controls that I mentioned. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see the bodywork and alloy wheels are all in fantastic condition. It's a great looking car as well. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the right-hand side, we have the fuel gauge. Here in the middle, you can see the speedometer, and the rev counter is on the left-hand side. Within the speedometer, the total miles for this car are 48,218 at the time of recording this video. You can change your information displayed above that by pressing the button on the end of the indicator stalk. You can, for example have a digital readout for the speedometer displayed there as you can see. You also have a heads up display so your speedometer is displayed there. Also while we're in this section you can see one of the options on this car aside from the heads up display is the Harman Kardon Hi-Fi system and if we back out to the steering wheel next we have cruise control, speed limiter, stereo and phone controls, the minus and plus paddles so you can change up and down a gear manually on this automatic gearbox. And then over in the center, we have uh, the main screen for the car. So this is Mini's uh, Media Pack XL, which gives you uh, the extra wide satellite navigation screen that you can see there. Really nice, clear display, very easy system to use. All of the movement I'm making on the screen is being done using this dial just here and the buttons that surround it. So you can go back to the main menu from here. This dial will operate uh, everything that you see up on the screen, it moves to the left, to the right, up and down as well. Uh, or as I say, you can use these buttons. So from the main menu, for example, uh, you can rotate the dial uh, to your satellite navigation, which is where we were just now. We can go to radio. And of course you can turn the volume down on the radio up here. You'll see there we've got FM, AM and DAB radio all available to us. Uh, you can also listen to your own music in this car. It's done under the multimedia heading. Uh, and we've got plenty of ways we can listen to our music as well. So music collection, so you can save your own music uh, in the car. We've got external devices we can plug in. So USB input, Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly. And we have auxiliary input as well. On top of all of that, this car has got a full color reversing camera with guidelines that show you what direction the car is headed in, in relation to the image shown on the screen. So very easy to park. Below that, we then have dual zone climate control. You can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed from here. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed. And when you're happy with those settings, that button will turn your air conditioning on. Same button to turn it off again. Or hit auto. The car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed and direction of the air for you. If you press auto again, you'll go back to whatever setting you had that on previously. We've also got a heated rear and proper heated front screen as well. Uh, we can turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That system's off when that light shows. This button starts and stops the engine of the car. Uh, this one turns off the traction control and this one can shut down the heads up display if, if you'd rather have that not in place and you can open it again, of course. We have a 12 volt charging socket, auxiliary and USB inputs, the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. And then lastly, uh, this ring just here around the gear lever. So you're able to put the car into sport mode, mid and green. Whichever mode you put this car in, um, it, will, it will tell you uh, up on the main display and it will get this, you'll get this color ring as you make your, uh, your changes. So mid mode is your everyday driving essentially. Sport mode, mid mode and green mode. 
The last thing I wanted to run through is the paperwork we hold for the car. First of all, you can see the main key uh, just there. We have the spare key in the envelope, the V5 registration document. This vehicle is a two lady owner car from new. The most recent uh, owner of this vehicle actually part exchanged it with us for another Mini. It's also got full documented service history as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, or you'd like a live bespoke video walk around of the car, please feel free to give us a call here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. We'd love to hear from you soon.